Hey everyone, DJ Benji here once again. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you five things that you must do before you make any music on FL Studio. And this is really, really important because this is going to show you A, how to register the software, two, how to set up your audio so you don't get any clicks or pops and you're choosing the right sound card. This is going to show you how to set up your MIDI controller, how to set up your files and your folders so you can easily find your samples that you want to use within your productions. And lastly, how you can find all your plugins. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So if you haven't got it already, just head over to www.image-line.com forward slash fl-studio you're going to hit that download button click there it's going to download and then you're going to install it right so once you've installed it this is what fl studio looks like when you first open it up so this is fl studio right i'm actually signed in which is brilliant uh, but if you haven't registered it i'll show you how to do that now so i'm just starting an empty project what you need to do is you need to unlock your FL Studio. Go to unlock FL Studio. You're going to click on here. You're going to type in your email address, which I'm going to keep private. Then you're going to type in your password here, which is... And then you're going to go unlock with account. So that's the first thing that you need to do is register it. Then it's going to send you a little code, which I'm going to put my little code in for your two-factor authentication. Then that way, your software won't be pirated by anybody else. Okay, so now the license is installed, then you have to go restart without saving. And then it's going to restart. The next thing that you need to do, you need to put in your sound card, all right? So you're going to go options, we're going to go to audio settings, and then we're going to click here. And then we're going to click your sound card from the device rack. And you need to make sure you got the music coming out of your monitors, all right? Anyway, the other thing is you need to set your buffer length. The further you have this to the right would normally indicate the lower the power of the computer. So if you've got an older computer and you're getting glitches and stuff like that, turn your buffer length up. And then that will mean that it won't cause any audio artifacts or distortion. The next thing that you're going to need to do is set up your MIDI controller. You can hit MIDI or the way we got this was go options and then MIDI settings. It'll bring up the same thing. You need to pick your MIDI controller from the list so you can hear sound when you push keys on your keyboard because at the moment no sound coming out right I need to select my MIDI controller which is USB MIDI and then I'm going to click enable and now now my MIDI controller is working I've got when I hit notes on my piano sound is coming out the speakers brilliant the next one we're going to do is file settings right so you can see here i've already got some of these set up what these are for guys is so that you have like um, it sometimes can be hard to find your your sounds if you're not particularly organized they might be hidden deep inside um your computer for example and then what I use these for is um, just to be a little bit more organized. So if I'm looking for a specific set of sounds, then they're easy to find. So let's say we wanted to set up a new one. We just click here. That will bring up your browser. And let's say I wanted to use remastered drum breaks. Then I'm going to go there. All right. And now when I close that down, we will find that. There they are. See they're there. So now... So now I can drag those up into there. Um, or let's say I wanted something from this pack here, I don't know. Drag that in and then that's there. All right. The next thing that we want to do is we want to go to options and we want to go to manage our plugins. We need to manage our plugins. You basically want to click all of these, click, 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 because now in FL Studio 24, 
we've got these clap plugins so you want to make sure that you find all of those you're just going to click this find install plugins so there you go guys thank you very much for tuning in once again please make sure you like share and subscribe if you find my content useful and we'll see you next time take care